In this bass lesson, you're going to learn the intuitive method for figuring out the key of a song where you don't need to know a thing about music theory. Hi, I'm Luke from Become a Bassist, and if you want to start figuring out the keys of songs by ear, stick around. There's almost nothing more useful to a bass player as knowing what key a song is in. When you know this one piece of information, a whole world opens up to you. You can very quickly eliminate a ton of notes that probably won't be in whatever song you're playing, and it also means you can make very good educated guesses as to what will be in the song. This means if you ever have to come up with a fill, improvise over the song, or even just spice up the bass line you're playing, you'll know what, what notes are going to work best. This is the first of three lessons with three different approaches to figuring out the key of a song. And this video, it's all about the intuitive method, which lets you figure things out without having to know a ton of theory. It's definitely more art than science and it relies on your ear pretty heavily. It works like this. You find one note that sounds good and works uh, over most, if not all of a song. So how do you find this note? By using your ears and your voice. Try different things out. Just try and hum a note that you, think's work, that you think works over most or all of whatever song you're trying to figure out. And a lot of the time, that note, that'll be the key. Let's try this together. I've got a track right here we can use to give it a shot. Let's just put it on and see if we can find a note that works over the whole track. So it's gonna sound like this. All right, there it is. Now, the first thing you should do when you go through this method is absolutely nothing. <laughs> Don't try and play any notes on your bass, just listen. Take as long as you need, and when you think you may have a note in your mind that works over the whole thing, try singing it uh, against the song. For me, the note I'm hearing is this one. Mm, that one right there. Yeah, let's go back to the start of the song and uh, see if this note, this, this note right here, see if that works most or maybe even all the time over this track. So, this is the note that we're looking for. Mm, okay, works over that first chord. Mm, uh, still works over that second chord. Uh, another chord here. Uh, okay. Uh, and then I think we go back to the first chord. Uh, Okay, cool. So to me, it sounds like it works for the whole thing, right? So the next logical question, what is this note? Let's take a guess and say it's a D, a total stab in the dark. This is a note that we're aiming for right here, and a D on our bass is gonna sound like this. Duh. This is a note, uh, that's the D, but this is the note that we want. So the D is probably a little bit too low. So let's go up fret by fret from that D until we find the right note. Now remember, this is the note that we want, this is the D. How about this note, is this the same note? No, it's still too low. That one's still too low. There it is, that's our note. Uh, it's an F, yeah? So if F is a note that we think works over the whole song, then it's a pretty good guess that we're in some kind of F key, either F major or F minor. How do we tell which one we're in, F major or F minor? Well, there's a few ways. If you know the F major and F minor scales, you can try playing them over the track, and we'll, we'll get to that soon. But there's another more intuitive way, a way that doesn't require any knowledge of uh, scales at all. Now, in general, major keys are going to be uh, brighter sounding, and minor keys are going to be darker sounding. Some people describe major keys as being happy and minor keys as being sad. Well, this can get a little bit confusing. There are plenty of uh, super depressing, sad songs that are actually written in major keys and plenty of happy songs that were written in minor keys. You really have to separate the sound of the chords from the meaning of the song and the lyrics and all of that. But does this track sound bright and maybe a little bit happy to you? Or does it have a darker, sadder flavor to it? To me, it sounds super bright, so I'm guessing this is in a major key. The note we came up earlier was the F, so chances are we're in the key of F major. Now, if you know your F major scale, you can play that against the track just to make sure it works. Check it out. So just F major. Works over that perfectly. And again. Yeah. C 
simple. The scale works really well over every chord. So that's the basic process, but let's try one more quick one. I've got another track ready to go, so let's put it on and see what we can find. Oh. Okay. So, it's the same process. Figure out the note you want to choose in your mind first. Sing it or hum it. For me, I'm hearing mm, this note right here. Mm. Then, let's take a guess at what the note is. So we're looking for this one. Uh, let's guess D again, that's a good choice. <laughs> so this is the note we're looking for. Oh, not quite. It's a little bit too high. So let's take this note. Uh, let's take it down fret by fret. So, mm, no, not there. There it is there. Da, 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 da. So, this is an A. So we're probably in some kind of A key. Next, is the harmony in this song more bright sounding or more dark sounding? Now the timbre of the guitar, the tone of the guitar, it's pretty bright. But remember, that's not what we're looking for, right? We're looking for the quality of the chords and the harmony. And to me, these chords sound a lot more dark and sad than happy and bright. That means that we're probably in the key of A minor. Now if you know the A minor scale, the A natural minor, does A minor work over the track? Let's try it out. Absolutely, A minor works really well right here, so we're pr almost certainly in the key of A minor. Now this intuitive method is great, especially if you don't know a thing about music theory, but you do have solid ears. But it does have limitations. Specifically, there's often going to be more than one note that sounds good over most of the song you're playing. In fact, for both tracks we just played through, we could have picked one, maybe even two other notes that could have potentially worked pretty well over most of the track. What are you supposed to do then? Well, you can actually test to make sure you've picked the right key. I filmed a special bonus video all about this called Key Certainty, how to make sure you've picked the right key. In this free lesson, you'll learn the two biggest mistakes bass players make when they're trying to figure out the key and how to fix them using a simple process. It even comes with a wicked little uh, flowchart so you can diagnose if you picked the wrong note as the key and the steps to fix it. To get it, just click the link under this video, sign up on that page, I'll send it straight to your email address. I think you're gonna love it. To recap though, you learned all about the intuitive method for finding the key. You learned that it works if you're reasonably confident in your ears to guide you, and the process was to simply find a note that worked over all, or at least most of the song you're trying to figure out the key for. Once you have that, you learned that you can figure out whether in your major or minor key by listening to the harmony, seeing if it's light, and, uh, and bright or dark and a bit sad. And finally, if you really wanted to be sure, you can uh, test out with the scale if you know it, and you can also sign up for the special bonus video about key certainty. It'll make sure you're on the right track. Thanks a bunch for watching, I really appreciate it. I'm Luke from Become A Bassist, and I'll see you in another lesson soon.